What up, green kitties? Hi, y'all. Meow, meow, meow. Um, hi, guys. I'm back from the detox. I'm back from the detox. Okay, I am back. And I came home. Um, I'm, in, I'm with hubby and the children. Say hi, honey. Hey, G. Hi, Mama. Hello, G. So I'm with everybody. My other son is way back there. Say hi, Drew. Hi. They can't see you. Where you at? Show some light, baby. There you go. Hi. All right. Okay, Joelle. So, anyways, I'm with hubby and the children. I just got back, and I said, let's go out. It's a beautiful day out here, you guys. It's like 89 degrees, some wind. It's some wind and some... Hold on, y'all. We got to pray. Go ahead, baby. Turn that down. Turn that down. Go ahead, babe. Lord, watch over us as we take this journey. Please keep your hands watching over me and my family. Let us make it home safely. Watch our house. And also, Lord, watch over our other kids. Let us have a safe day and a wonderful day out here sharing it with the world. Let us be a blessing to others and others may be a blessing to us. Let keep the police from harassing us and keep all harms away from us. And we pray and we say amen. Amen. Amen, amen everybody. Amen. amen. Okay, family that prays together stays together. Uh, make sure you guys like, comment down below, subscribe, all those beautiful things. What? Oh, I'm ready. Um, anyway, so I said it's a beautiful day. It's so nice out here, good you guys, in Vegas. The weather is great. I feel pretty good. So I said, you know what? Let's let's take a let's go to the park. Let's 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 get out. Let's get out the house. My kids been a little bad this week, so they haven't really been out. So I said, um, let's uh, let's get out because they've been running my nerves. Hopefully, they can run this concrete, okay? Because they've been running my nerves, y'all. Anyway, I wanted to give you guys an update. Um, I wanted to give you guys an update um, at the dentist's office. You guys saw me there talking to y'all because I had some spare time on my hand because he was doing a procedure. So, I want to update you guys on what I've learned and what I know of as of right now, right? Okay, so... Now, the guy who I met today is my first time meeting him. He's not the guy who did my mouth. So let me give you guys a backstory. So I didn't go out of the country to get my teeth done, of course. Um, do I regret that? That So if you guys wonder why was it $60,000, $70,000 to get my teeth done, it's because I didn't go out the country. Do I regret not going out the country? Um, I couldn't go out to the out the country because I'm not vaccinated. You guys know, um, I don't. I'm not with all of that. That's not my thing. So at that time, you had to be vaccinated. You had to be willing to quarantine. You had to do a lot of shit that I wasn't willing to do. So I said, you know what? Yeah, it's gonna cost me a whole lot of much, much more money. But I rather, you know, whatever. So I did it here. Do I regret that now? Um. I don't know. We'll talk about what I regret and what I don't regret. But right now, I'm just going to give you information, okay? So, if that's what you guys are wondering, like, damn, why was it so much when normally people say it's a lower, a little lower than that? It's because they normally go out of state, out of the country. I, I chose not to do that uh, because I wasn't vaccinated. Okay? So, anyway, so the guy who did do my mouth, okay, so the dentist I went to, he had to call people he had to hire specialists and hire the anesthesiologist the person who put you to sleep he has to hire all these people this is why it always took some time to get my mouth done and things like that because he didn't have the people working in his building that was one regret i regretted not going to a specialist from the jump okay so I, like i said i'll make a video on what i regret anyways moving forward so now it's been fast forward to now he have hired people now that are specialists and that, that are in in home now he doesn't have to contract them out no more okay which is good for me because it was costing a lot of money because i was paying these people so anyway um so the guy today is the new in-house guy he's never seen me he just now looked at my paperwork and so him and the guy was supposed to talk about me together but i guess today was really busy which it was the dentist office was full of people today i don't know why but it seemed like everybody wanted to check on their teeth today so um he so it, it seemed to me that he did not want to put his name on this work it seemed to me that the somehow whoever did do my mouth had fucked up he ain't said it 
but it seems to me that he doesn't want to dirty Mac nobody else but it seems to me like he don't want to put his name on this work he didn't say that but he was just saying you know how the bottom my bottom you're you're able to see my implant and you shouldn't be able to see my implant um you know what i'm saying um the the bone is it's almost gone so you know it's just really not doing well down there and i now i've had one implant fail up top and they took it out but he said taking it out is so much harder than putting them in he said because they gotta unscrew it like drill it out my mouth okay and so that one as he's saying that you guys i am like my heart is getting broken because i know what that feels like i it's like basically he has to damn near butcher my mouth you you feel me and you know but number one i believe in god god got it and that's just what it is you know what i'm saying i put it in god's hands however this gotta go and god is gonna give me the strength that i need to get it get it taken care of you know but like i explained to him i'm already married i'm 34 years old i don't care so much about implants i want implants because if i can have the best why not but like i said i'm not out here looking for a man my husband loves me the way i am you know at this point i just want something safe and something i can eat because like i told you guys i don't swallow and due to me not swallowing it's not healthy either because my throat is learning how to close up my throat is learning how to close up. Not only that, if you guys notice, what is going on? Like, come on, man, Cedric. Um, my throat, and, and I'm getting small. I'm getting really small, more than what I want to get small. I'm 113 pounds. You know, I don't want to be 113 now. You know, so anyway, um, so, you know, one thing can lead to another if I don't get the situation fixed, okay? I drink my shakes. I don't drink insure to gain weight because I used to work in a caregiving business and I used to feed my patients that, and I'll be damned if I'm drinking that shit, okay? It ain't happening. So, and no, I'm not, you know, putting my food in no fucking blender. I'm just not doing that, okay? So, you know, we got to figure something out. So, anyways, he was saying that, but, but, and so um now another thing is remember i was telling you guys how my lips are always hurting and between my but this right here i can't open my mouth i can barely open my mouth and i thought it was the weather i thought it was the weather i thought it was um i thought it was the weather and just all type of other stuff but it's not the weather he said that it's some type of fungi. It's some type like a fungi. Like with how he explained it to me is how I'm explaining it to y'all. It baby, make sure you go by the smoke shop too. But it's like um, he said, you know how when a baby drink milk and the, and, the, and the baby may have extra skin at the neck and how sometimes the milk go there and then when you wipe the baby neck it'll be kind of red and it'll kind of hurt the baby because sometimes it, fungi fungi is all in our body and sometimes fungi come like that whatever so basically that's what he's saying this part was a very thin part um somehow fungi okay that's the best way i can explain it to y'all okay so anyway he said though so he so he wrote down a prescription for fungi and that should help me but the reason why i can't open my mouth up or whatever is because my mouth he said when you don't use something your mouth close up your mouth close up is this cool your mouth close up your mouth is used to closing up your teeth give your mouth like a little bit of space teeth is basically fucking important okay teeth gives your mouth space without the teeth my mouth is staying closed so it's hard to open up because when you don't use something your body tightens up with it because you don't use it so it tightens it don't get loose when you don't use it it gets tighter when you don't use it so because i'm not really opening my mouth at full capacity and things like that i don't force my mouth to be opened 
um, is why all of this is going on. But so I'm happy that I do know what it what it is. I'm because I've been just using lip gloss and you know it's been hurting me for quite a while and I just thought it was the weather. You know I didn't really know what it was, but he explained to me uh, why it what what's going on. So he and he said once I start taking this like fung fungi antibiotic or whatever, it will really help me out a little bit. Um. And the same thing with why the bottom of my gum is hurting and things like that. So, but he really, you could tell he was talking, but you could tell he did want to dirty map the people. So that's why he wanted to talk to my other dentist to see if they can have an understanding and then come with a plan. So I'm like, okay, cool. But so I, I came out of the office really not knowing nothing, but I got fun guy. <laughs> that's all i know you know i i really don't know because he couldn't really tell me too much because he's protecting his new company you know his new job and he don't want to dirty mac the, the next person but what i can say the person who did do my mouth he is a very top doctor so i believe that if he sees it he'll be able to know his work and what is going on you know so i don't really know um, he did scare me a little bit because um, implant removal, he said, is a little treacherous. And I, I understand a little bit of it because I had one implant removed. I didn't have all of them. And that shit was, it was, that's what made me take a break. I think it was the implant removal is what made me really hold up on everything. Because your gums are just not meant to do what they're, they, they, this new shit that they're doing. It's just not meant for screws and shit to be drilled and taken out. and dr It's just not meant for that. You know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, like I said, do I have regrets? I do. Because some of this I have put on myself as far as not taking my vitamins. Second thing, um, not going to a specialist. Third thing, um, allowing them to take all my teeth out. I still had some good teeth and I could have just worked on the ones I had and then got veneers or something like that. Um, yeah, so everybody getting new teeth and I thought it was simple, but you have a body and you can't tell your body what to do, especially if you don't take care of your body. And I am a person that disregards my body I'm a person that just doesn't, or at that, uh, didn't take care of my body. Now I do. I, you know, I guess now I got in my 30s, I give a fuck. In my 20s, I didn't give a fuck. And I'm paying for me not giving a fuck. Dearly. So if, if y'all get anything out my video, give a fuck about your body. Because you only have one. And your and health is wealth. Because no matter, I have the money or had the money, have the money, however you want to put it, to get the best. And money is not even the problem. It's the body. So money without health is what? It's broke. It's broke. Okay? But the good news is I'm a child of God. And this may be a tomb. But guess what? It's, that rock is going to move from over my tomb. And I'm going to walk out. And I'm going to be victorious. Because I could have had this problem with no money. And really had to sit with this. You know, at the end of the day, like I explained to him. I'm married. My husband loves me. I don't have those type of issues. Even if I wasn't married, I don't give a fuck about what nobody talking about. They don't fuck feed me or finance me, so I, I don't care about that. But not only that, um, I just want to, at this point, eat. At this point, be healthy. At this point, not let one thing come to another thing. You know what I'm saying? At this point, I just want to get healthy. Fuck the look. Fuck everything else. I just want to be healthy. So what I so I say all that to say if anybody is getting any surgery done on your body, weight loss surgery, 
BBL, Mama Makeover, Teeth, Colored Eye, whatever the fuck you're doing. And you have to go under the knife. Make sure your body is healthy. So I sit down. Your butt is in my camera. And yes, they do test. And especially when you're going to get your, your titties done or your weight loss. They take you, you know, put your heart on the EKG or whatever and test you. But, you know, take care of your body before you lay down and get things done. So at least you can have the best chance. Maybe if I would have taken my vitamins, filled myself up, got some sea moss, um, built my, built my muscles up as much as I could. You know what I'm saying? Before this process, maybe this process wouldn't have happened. But I came in empty. Okay, I came in motherfucking empty. Okay, so now we work we working backwards. So that is just a hard head person, which is me. I'm very uh, aware of myself. Okay. Um, and I know where I have fucked up at, where, where I wish I would have knew better, but you don't know until you know, that is going to be my saying for a while. You don't know until you know, and you know, and that's just it. And I, I think that's just because of me raising me, you know, and I shout out to every woman that raised their cells. You know, you don't, you don't know what to, to talk to yourself about. You can't overly see yourself when you're in those ages that's important. You can't. Now I can talk to myself because I have a I have an old self. So now I can tell my old self, my new self, what I fucked up in my old self. You, you get what I'm saying? But, so shout out. Don't feel bad though for the ones who did not have a real guardian watching you. And you had to raise you and you did the best you could and you still standing take your motherfucking hat off take your hat off you know what i'm saying that's why i don't let nobody make me feel no type of way about nothing because i raised me and i did the best i could and as long as i'm still standing and, and and i sit at the table with the best i sit at a table like i didn't have people raise me I just, I, you know, and I'm not saying that my grandparents didn't. What I am telling you is I live with my grandparents. Grandparents and parents are different. Okay? My grandparents are very nice. And I can do whatever I want. I was, I ran the whole house, honey. So, you know, it, it's, it's a different type. You know, a parent is different. You know, I, how I run my house is different than how my grandmother run her house when my kids come. You feel what I'm saying? It's certain shit ain't gonna go down. And it's certain shit that will go down because they're the grandmother. But my grandmother was my full-time mother. And so that just didn't work out all the way good for me. So it's a lot of learning I had to do. And it was a lot of teaching myself. And, I, and unfortunately, I had to fall, fail, fall, stumble to learn. It is what it is, but I always had God, I always had my Holy Spirit, and I always had common sense. And here we are. So um, that's just any. That's just the story of today. I'm gonna go out with my children, my husband. You know, try to get what I heard kind of out my ear. You know, it kind of had me a little sad and just pick myself back up and the best way i do it is spending time with my family and um doing that if you guys have any more questions anything you need to know about anything please leave it down in the comments i make my videos to be very transparent and open because that's the only way i know how to be like share subscribe comment down below bye